hold her are you uh, short of breath at all? Well, I think the cocaine was like half of that, but no, I'm I like okay? maybe like half a breath at the moment. So far, yeah, honey. But uh, no. it's, it's, it seems to be a little bit hands? more now, you know, as the, the pain's easing a little bit. But it's still really, it's like, it's like uh, out, of, out of five, you know, the pain is like up, a I think three still, okay. you know. I've got, Maybe uh, a four, I've got like you know, in the middle. six interns oh. under me and nurses right now. So. You said it's only about a four right it's now for you? Yeah, but it's, yeah, out of yeah. five, you know, but it's relieving, you know, it feels a little bit, I'd say it's maybe a three and a half now, you know, it's, it's easing off a little bit, but when I breathe, when I take a deep breath, I, it's really, so it goes back to a five out of five, you know. All right, sir. Um, well, he's got that painkiller in him, so you want me to go ahead and check the ribs again to see if I can press any uh, deeper without him flinching back or trying to punch me? Uh, give him a few moments just to, for it to, you know, obviously uh, take some effect, you know. Uh, mm. Generally, I would just... Uh, so everything else is good. Um, just make sure that um, he hasn't got any uh, marks under his, under his shirt, like, uh, you know, uh, scrapes or anything from... Uh, you said, he, did you say you got kicked by a horse friend? Oh, yes, I, I did. It's, is this okay. normal, though, to be like grinding your teeth after taking cocaine? Oh, yes, like, yes, oh, yes. Okay. Don't, don't, don't grind them, though. Don't. Try oh, not I'll try not. Yeah, I'll try not. Did he suffer any lacerations from the hoof when he got well, kicked? That's what I, yeah, that's what I was thinking. So if you want to, uh, assist him to take off his shirt and have a look. No, this is getting a little bit uh, outside some people's comfort zone, but if you're good with that, then yeah. Perfect. So we're just going to make sure that there's no grazes or anything on him. It's just some bruising, hopefully, and not dark bruising, because otherwise there's internal bleed. But he would be coughing up blood if there was. Yes, indeed. Very true. All right, he's got light color bruising, no cuts, don't seem like. All Doesn't, right, so okay. could have been worse then. That's that's a good sign. All right, well, have a feel around now. Uh, put some, apply some pressure if you have to, and right. uh, we'll uh, see see if it uh, is fractured or uh, broken. So obviously, if the rib moves completely, then you know you've got a complete break. If it only just like has a tiny bit of movement then you've probably just got like a fracture, right? And then we'll go into which you will need to do because if worse comes to worse, we may need to put him under if he's got a full break because we'll have to put some put some uh, plates in his chest, which is going to affect his lifestyle. All right, we still got some tensity here, so the rib ain't fully broken off. Okay. So we won't need to open him up if that's the case then, which is good. Looking uh, at though, fractures then. Good, good. So what you are going to do though, and this is where it gets a little, little difficult, because you need to be able to stabilize that rib, but without damaging any of the others or impeding him from breathing. So the way you are going to do that is you are going to wrap a bandage around the top and then over the bottom of the rib. Okay. You're going to make sure it's nice and tight, but it's got enough room. Now, it also has to go on a slight uh, um, um, incline, as you know, the ribs aren't, of course, straight, as you know. So, uh, stabilize the regions above and below that broken rib? Correct, because, okay. it, because it will hold it in place. All right. And then keep it them inclined because be the ribs are curved. Gotcha. Correct. Because they sort of go from the bottom of the chest, sort of upwards to the center, you know? Mm hmm So what, will we put a brace against his spine just so he keeps his chest puffed out like that, or...? No, he should be, a, he, he should be able to hold it. If he can't hold it, then we'll, uh, we'll address that issue when it comes to it. But uh, you good to sit there, friend? Oh, yeah, yeah. I'm fine. I'm, I, okay. I got nothing else to do. <sighs> no, as long as you're holding yourself up okay and you know... Oh, you're yeah, not, yeah, uh, I'm fine. Yeah, I can hold myself You're not uncomfortable just, or anything? No, no, it's just uh, if I sit straight, it's okay. But if I bend, obviously, it's a lot of pain. Good. All right, yeah, grab a pressure bandage and start wrapping. 
All right, what are the uh, pressure bandages on here? Compression Should bandages have... right in the medical bag here. I got opened up for you. You should All see right. everything fairly organized. Step aside here, right on the table there. <laughs> what uh, sorry about that, oh, sir. A little slow for you. That's okay. Oh, I know you're trying to. If you have to, re relieve the pressure and then try again. Don't keep pushing when you, if you, if something's in pain, then you've wrapped it in the wrong spot. Okay. Mm. It's okay though. Oh. You can't, you can't permanently damage it unless you really apply some fucking pressure to the man, I guess. But uh, yeah, just uh, take it easy. You know, you don't want him to be in pain. Yeah, I wouldn't <laughs> sit on him right now. <laughs> At least God. take him to dinner first if he wants to, if he wants to sit on him. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, friend. I know we shouldn't make you laugh right now. Oh, that's okay. You know, um, to see laughter is the best medicine, but I, I believe it's cocaine. Not with it. Well, yes, yes, yes. <laughs> cocaine helps a broken rib more than, than laughter, I will say. <laughs> You're not wrong, friend. You're not wrong. All right, so let's go again. Wait, whose book do I have on me? Oh, it's your book. That's right. It's your book, friend. Oh, yes, ma'am. Uh, it was good. I just need your, your nurse's book or your intern book because uh, I'm going to uh, put a template in there for you. And then I would honestly put your reports in there because then we can see it all with the sign-off sheet so we can look back at the report right, and then sir, look at the sign-off sheet there. and stuff like you that. Feel, you know what I mean? Sure. Yep. Yeah, I feel that. All right, just uh, be, careful turn, yeah. be careful. Be yes, careful. Yes, Super deep breaths because you're going to be pressing against that bandage, your diaphragm, and that broken rib. Um, but aside from that, I believe you're okay to go. I can get some salve on that wound just to get some more painkiller in you if that's uh, that seems to be up your alley. But I think that cocaine is doing you just fine for now, unless I'm mistaken. Yep, that's fine. Thank you very much. Now, right, then we put what. Oh, make sure you treat him as well, friend. Of course. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? So you focus on him and you uh you'll need to focus on him and uh you'll see it there. Do you yep, know how I'm to focus saying, on I'm, someone? Yeah, I'm just saying about what I should put on his bruising just so it helps the uh pain feature down oh, the line when the cocaine oh, runs off. Uh herbal self. Herbal self. Okay. Sorry. That's alright. I was uh oh, I didn't want to do that, damn it. Yeah. Don't worry, babe. No, I don't, um, you know, come to towns very often. But is there anything else you could suggest um, for the pain, you know, for someone who's out the way, you know? Um, I have a lot of plants and, you know, herbs, let's just say, you know. Would that, would that help along with my, okay. you know, with my recovery? Yes, friend. Uh, so anything uh, like red sage will help, blood flower will help with pain, things like that. Um, so yeah, you definitely can do that though. I obviously can't talk about the legalities of said things because I'm not a lawyer and I'm not saying that, you know, you could go and say, oh, a doctor told me so, cause I'm not uh, oh, no, prescribing no, no, no. you something. Uh, but if it is something that you have access okay. to and let's say you, you live down New Austin, I mean, I don't give a shit what you do with your life and how you choose to live your life. Um, so yeah, and I would also say motor can help out as well. So Excellent. okay, that's fine. Though that one is a bit illegal. So yep. Just be careful. All right. Uh, 
Here you go, friend, and you will find your template in the back there. If you need help.